All right, next up, we're rehousing one of my Pisolotheria vitata. Uh, I'm hoping this one's a female. This is one of the species that has been impacted by the recent ruling from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. So, unfortunately, these guys are going to be much more difficult to come by in my state because we're not allowed to sell them in public venues. I'm not talking, am I? Uh, it's pointing down. I don't know if you can see her. So what we're trying to do here is get it up and into the cup. That rhymes. We have to just go down and get her. That's, that's what you don't want, the scramble. Which I'm usually pretty good at not getting. I am wearing this silly head cam, which makes me feel like the biggest goober on the planet, but hopefully it'll show what I'm seeing. Now, normally you don't want them to go skittering around. Whoa, 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 easy girl. You don't want them to go skittering around like that, and if she had gotten any more upset, I probably would have stopped because you don't want pogies upset while you're doing rehousings. Hmm. I think they're up in the cup. Fingers. There we go. I'm going to pop this out of the way for just a split second. Billy gets a good shot of her. Gorgeous girl. And we're going to try to get her into this new enclosure. What I may do is just let her come out on her own. But actually, you know what I'll do is I'll lay this inside. I'll put the top to on. Them. You need to move? I was going to get the top for you. So you... I can get it. Okay. There we go. out. Now again, I've said this many, many times, there is no harm in leaving the spider in the catch cup. Which we may do with her because she doesn't seem to want to come out. No, no, no. Yeah. She just doesn't want to get out. No. Poor thing. There we go. See your button there. I'm going to get the big brush out, and she hopefully will go right behind here. Another rehousing of one of the vicious pokies. I just had a discussion with somebody who I talked to that was talking about how vicious and uh, aggressive they are, and I honestly have not seen that. That's not to say you can't have a specimen that can be a little more ornery than others, but overall, I found these guys to be rather predictable, knock on wood, and laid back and really slow to spook. 
That's just one bolts out. Just kidding. She's right behind the cork part. Perfect. So there we go. Pisolotheria vitata. I will hopefully actually might be breeding those so we can make sure that my state has them because pretty soon they're going to be hard to come by because of the Pisolotheria band. That includes the Sri Lankan species, which is ornata, vitata, fasciata, smithy, and oh gosh, what is the other one? Another one, another species. <laughs> it's, it's so Fasciata, Vitata, Ornata, Subfusca, and Smithy. Subfusca. Yeah, there it is. All right, got them all. Didn't have my notes for this one. So there we go. And again, I like these sterilized containers, although this will probably be temporary because I'm already starting to get some of them out of these, out of here, but I do have more pokies going and I've got to do kind of a musical chairs type thing with rehousings to make sure that I have room for them all. But I like these because they open from the top. They give me plenty of room to work and they keep my hands out of the way of the spider. Where if you go in from the side, if you notice when they get scared, they tend to circle. I don't like that because they can come right out. So there we go. She's got the cork bark. She's got the water dish. I'm gonna stick a little moss in there as well. We've got some moist cocoa fiber and she should be good to go. So Pisolotheria vitata, easy rehousing. Didn't sweat too much at all on that one. All right, so that went really well overall. And honestly, I have a really good time rehousing my piece of areas. I talk a lot about how my, you know, blood pressure's up, whatever. They're really usually very cooperative. I've kept now, I think, 12 different species of them, probably over two dozen, at least over two dozen total. And I've never had ones that have given me any type of defensive behavior. They've always been very well behaved. Now, does that mean there aren't defensive specimens out there? Of course, it can vary from specimen to specimen. Some species are known to be a little more nastier than others, but I just haven't seen it myself. So again, I don't want to discount people that have had bad interactions with them, but I will say overall, they're usually fairly easy and predictable to work with. Now, it should be mentioned that the Pisolotheria vitata was one of the five Sri Lankan Pisolotheria species that were on the current ruling from the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. Basically, come August 30th, you can only legally buy these guys from somebody in your own state and can only legally sell to someone in your own state. Long story there. I do have something up on my website, Tom's Big Spiders. It explains the whole thing. But know that after that date, you will not be able to order those online from dealers that aren't in your own state. And this kind of stinks for those of us in the hobby. Um, there's something out there called the Lacey Act that prohibits the interstate dealings of these or being do any interstate commerce involving the species that made that list. So unfortunately, that's the way it is right now. I do believe there are exceptions for if you gift one to somebody in another state and you have to put documentation in the box to cover your butt, or if you are doing a breeding loan. So if you do a breeding loan for slings, I believe that's okay because it doesn't count as commerce, but something to make sure you double check about before you do it. So there you go. That'll do it for this one. Hopefully you guys appreciate that and enjoyed it. I know a lot of folks out there are getting into pokies now and I love it. They're not as bad as everybody says they are and I'm trying to do my best to um, take the demonization of them away. So as usual, if you enjoyed this video and want to check out some more, I'm going to put them around in here. And if you liked it so much, you'd like to subscribe, very much appreciated. You can find it right up there. Click that little circle. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys all next time.